I hate those burps that you get when you drink soda. For the ones where the carbonation is in your throat and you want to burp, but the bubbles are meeting each other and you can't do crap about it. And it sucks because you can feel the burp stuck in there and you want to burp. But all the bubbles are going, nah, we're fine. Just choke on it. <gasps> I am! I just ate a bunch of Chips Ahoy, and then I tried to drink some water, and the water just kind of flowed around the Chips Ahoy that were stuck in my throat. So after I swallowed once, I like tasted all this Chips Ahoy in the back of my throat. You know what? I, and it was really weird, uh, and it makes me uncomfortable. I usually drink milk when I'm doing cookie or dessert-based stuff. I've heard churros and milk do hmm. go pretty well together. Well, I need water for the sake of recording. Which keep we're in the middle keep, of. Keep Ooh. me hydrated so I can speak and my mouth doesn't get all dry. Also, milk is bad for you when you're recording because it phlegms yeah. you up. Welcome back. I don't know where I'm going to start that. To Let's Play just, Star Tropics. Just the whole thing. <laughs> I love cheese, but cheese gunks me up. And yes, that way. Not the other way. So, um, we... Hours on the toilet. <laughs> Two-hour throne room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I still use that sometimes for an em for a euphemism for going to the crapper. Chain two in the throne room. <laughs> okay, so we just got out of the we just got out of the place and we found a tunnel. So we're going in. I'm gonna say um, when I was playing ahead, this love like this dungeon. Oh yes, yeah, your favorite one so this far. This one almost broke me. The next one, I think, is even oh, worse. Oh, see, I can't tell if they're cobras or not, because it looks like they're eyes instead of the hood. Okay, one of these guys okay. is going to come after me. Yep, he's coming in. Crap. Crap. I have this weird realization that these satanic birds only show up in rooms with cross-like structures. Okay, the light goes out here, but you actually have to use the enemies. Except for that guy, because fudge him. We actually have to use the enemies to figure out where you're going to go next. Ah. You see, if I move up one, see that guy charge, and he stops two squares away from me. Mm. Stopped a little short, too. This guy... Yeah, he seemed to be the closest. Look! I'll hit one of them. Their pack heads look like mushrooms. Okay, now, funny jump, thing is, jump, there is jump, this big jump. thing here that you can go straight up and down on. Jump, jump. But, um, you can go to the left. Ooh, a slingshot and a boom and a bat. But you can only go to the left, like, every other block. Yeah, so there's, like, a space with water in between. Yeah, so, like, I can do this. Now, you gotta watch this guy, because he's jumping on three things that you could also potentially do something with. And that lets you know that, hey, it's safe to jump here. And thank goodness some lights. Yay! And now I get a baseball bat and a slingshot, and I'm Dennis the Menace. And I was wondering why this was down here, as it turns out. Ooh, secret. There's a room down here. Not secret death room, right? Yes, thank goodness, not a secret death room. Be dick right at the front of the dungeon. I'm gonna need that potion. Yeah, for when more satanic McNuggets show up. I like how I just careened over, like, they clearly showed a single block between screens, and I just careened clear over it. I jumped, like, three blocks to get all the way up here. Yes, because the screens only count as one block. Uh, but they have to show depth. The bees! Uh, these guys will charge at you if they get a diagonal against you, but it's not that hard to dodge them. It, they look like Gemini Beam going all over willy-nilly. I still hate Gemini Beam. Yeah, it's kind Gemini of Gemini Laser. Hey, rude. It's much better if you just go to the outside of their turn than the inside. I'm also already almost dying. Do, well, I, do I lose my potion? Do I lose my potion if I die? I, th I think you, I think you do. Right. This is the one that taught me to jump on these platforms as fast as physically possible. No. Made it. Yeah, you really need that time. 
Also, I think, ah, crap, I think you could have gotten some hearts if I went off to the side. Uh, I was thinking there. about that, but you kind of went too fast, so. Yeah, I just kind of panicked. What the hell? We're going down. We're we trying to find the fire crystal now. We're going deep down into the bowels. You should the... be dead. Maybe it's just really red water. Then he should be scared because that's. Uh... Hey, look. Nope. You know I what? I would use a potion. Minus one. What? <laughs> oh my god! I, I forgot they did that. What? Last time I did that, I got a plus two. I thought it was a constant, not just some random BS. No, it's a roulette. Oh my goodness. Okay, this room is kind of a nightmare, but you can hit that and then make your way over here and try not to get hit by bees. Ah, time freeze. Well, time slow. You know, he really hasn't done a stand character that has a time slow ability. Hmm. Well, now I'm down to one heart and I'm gonna die. I think this room is a checkpoint, though, so we should come back to this room if I die. Hopefully, maybe, perhaps. Possibly. Lava! Okay, these Lava. guys are jerks. It's I'm just gonna keep going this way. It's Jelvin. That's what they're called in Zelda, right? I have no idea. Oh no, they're Geldemen. Okay, this is gonna be fun, because you wanna go up here and get... No! I should've stayed on the platform. Dude, that would blow in real life. Oh man! Okay, I gotta do this room again. If like a single gnat hits you when you died, it's a mean gnat, man. Jerk. Could be horse flies. It wears off after a second too, so that's even more fun. Horse flies are horrific. Hey dude, how you doing? Oh, hey. now you give me a heart. You know how rare freaking life drops are in this game? They really should have changed the stuff. I don't understand the system behind stars. They don't do anything besides fill up your life for one heart. Like, this game will kill your sorry butt a lot. If and there's like. If it's not busy taking your lives when it should be giving you extra ones. Okay, so I want that. And then I want to go this way. And you lost your baseball bat and your slingshot, too. And yet you somehow clear him properly. You want to get those hearts and come back down, because if you keep going that way, you'll die. And there's no way to know. You're just going to die. Is he... Is he, like, one of the only enemies you can jump over? Yeah, I can j apparently just jump... Yep, yeah, see? Death. If you, go to, if you go to the left... Too bad, you chose wrong. I must have had... The saintly patience, because... I, I don't did... know if I'm gonna make it! Because <laughs> I don't remember really getting frustrated at this game. It was probably that block that did something. Probably. Gotta check all of them. And I do believe boss. It's a fire demon. Um, fun story? You're safe here. Oh, really? Yeah. Can you move, like, over to the other one and still be safe, or is it just I don't think so. I think if you move to the left one, he can't hit you. Ah. Because his fireballs are actually aimed at you. Yeah, I can um, see one that's trying really hard to hit you, but it can't. Yeah, there's two strings that go off to either side, and then kind of one in the middle that's aimed at you. However, you may have noticed the aiming in this game isn't exactly precise. Like, it has to go to a certain, like... I'm gonna guess probably 16 directions that it can choose from. Like, not strict diagonals, like one between, like, down and the diagonal. Mm. So, like, right here, you just happen to be to the point where it thinks, oh, I need to aim off to the side a little bit, but it's enough that it careens past you. This is the boss, though, and this is probably one of the most frustrating things in this entire dungeon. Um, for one, you can't hurt him with these. They don't do anything to him at all. Um, what you have to do is... I'm assuming it's because of the fire that's surrounding him that just basically burns up every attack that would normally hit him. Probably. Uh, what you have to do is, you see the two big red things? They're actually holding the platform he's on up. I'm sure it was a terrible decision for him to actually stand there. So we need to remove those two, which involves running around this whole room and hitting two hidden switches, which then reveal two actual switches. Doing that will kill the boss. The first hidden switch...
Go to the left, you idiot. Okay, that's our first hidden switch. Right up there next to him. You know, the thing that makes it even funnier is the fact that he decides to pick the only room in this entire area that has water in it. Every other room had, like, lava water, yet he yeah. picks the one that has water. Okay, now, getting to that one on the right is probably where I'm going to die a lot. I can get to the, um, there is a switch and a, or a hidden switch and then an actual switch both on the left. Both of them are relatively easy to get to. Hitting that switch on the right and then getting back not dead is gonna be a chore. Well, you have six hearts. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. But no potion, so. Yeah, because what I need to do is get on this. And here, I need to actually jump over that thing in the middle. And I should be safe here. And I have to jump over this fire, which is super freaking precise, by the way. Back with it. Hitting the switch. Getting wrecked. Getting wrecked again. Okay, I'm back here. I got... I'm, I'm in pain. What you want to do... Let me get some more safe so I can... Alright, we're good. Uh, what you want to do is, or at least what I found the best thing to do, was on the right, the two blocks of one above the other, where I was standing on jumping over the fire. Mm -hmm. You want to stand there and just jump rope the fire until the fire's rotation times well with the boss's attack. So you can, like, jump up and hit the switch and get back before the boss attacks again. Mm -hmm. Because you can't stay up there. That's where, um, if you're standing up there, the big strings of them that go off to either side will clear that. Yeah. And you can't jump over, like, three things coming back to back. Okay, so our next job is getting to the left with two hearts. You can probably do it. Dang it! Okay. You're also safe up here. Yeah, he hasn't really been shooting it down. Yeah, and he doesn't shoot while you're up here. I don't know why, but he doesn't shoot while you're up here. Probably because he only can do front, so... Is this a bad time to mention I'm allergic to water? Oh, I have three eyes, but I didn't see it coming. I died to this guy a lot so many times. <laughs> and the funny part is in the next room, a single snake gets you right away. Oh. Yeah, nice how they put water here just in case you actually feel like killing yourself and jumping in. Oh, just fuck you, Uncle Jay. <laughs> you were Uncle Bad Touch anyway. <laughs> like, just to make sure you had optimal conditions to accidentally kill yourself on your way out. Like you're jumping for joy and accidentally press forward into the wa into the water. Wow, you've done it, and it made me want to wring this game's neck. I died probably 30 times to that guy in practice, and every time you die, you get sent back to that room with the bees and the timer and the stopwatch mm -hmm. with three hearts. <sighs> like I could barely even get to the frickin' boss with three hearts. <laughs> and yet somehow you did it. Thank heavens. For 7 Eleven and Subways. <laughs> Alright, it's 13 minutes into the video, so I'll look around a little, I guess. Um, you talk to the guy and he said we gotta go up a mountain, talk to a guy up a mountain to do a thing. Yeah. The mountain, of course, is on this big thing in the middle because we could see it from the previous town. So I we gotta go in here. Nobody mentions anything about the bosses hiding in these, in these dungeons. So you gotta go in here. You gotta go in here, and you'll notice that it's empty, and there's not a lot that we can do. You'll also notice that even though I know how to progress, they're not letting me. Oh, so they actually lock you out of it? Yeah. Ah, see, that's... I always wonder that. I like... I kind of like it when they do that, but sometimes I kind of wish they'd skip over some of them. Yeah, some things, I feel. Some things, yeah. It's like, in Guardian's Crusade, I had to go down and talk to that frickin' owl at the bottom of the castle in order to hit the four switches up top. Mm. Just let me hit the frickin' four switches up top. But, like, here, this is like a whole dungeon and a half especially, that, they're, that you'd be cutting out if you just could go across that. It's especially funny when they add in something that goes like, how did you know about that? Hmm. Hey, a castle. Yeah. <gasps> she cola. 
I'm gonna go in anyway. <laughs> I'm a she guard. A she guard of she cola. I'm a she guard of she cola. Follow me at Tumblr. That's <laughs> the SJW slash she cola. Okay, so the guy said to talk to the to the uh, we can't get into she cola, and the guy said to talk to the fortune teller. Fortune teller's out back. Hi, fortune teller. Aw. Aw. Ghost village. And so the fortune teller can't do crap either. So, so, um... Is it like a village specifically for ghosts, or is it a village that's dead and therefore covered with ghosts? So we're just a little SOL at the moment. <laughs> SOL and JWF. Shit um, out of luck and jolly well fucked. Okay, what we can do from here is we can go up here. Ugh. And hey, there's a hidden thing. With a heart. <gasps> Yay! Hearts are cool, right? You've got a big heart. Why, thank you. You will die of gigantism in three years. Oh. Th Wait. Th would a bigger heart medically be worse? I don't think so. Because the whole... Like, the problem with gigantism is that you well, like Well, the problem heart. with gigantism is that your heart isn't necessarily big enough to pump all the blood through yeah. all the veins like and everything. Like, your heart's not big enough. Yeah. But, like, if your heart's... Like, if your heart's too big, then, like, man, they'd just be churning that blood through your system. But what if you had a bigger heart for yourself? You'd be like Luffy in Gear Second all the time. No, I th isn't it? I, th I thought that was actually a bad thing. I don't know. Like, a bigger, I think a bigger heart's a bad thing. It's like it one, probably, I'm one sure building. it is. I'm sure it is. So we come to the end of this, and there is but one building. This is the ghost place. <gasps> is it full of ghosts? Yes. But do they have toast? Maybe. Is it the most? Not really. Do they not boast? They do do that, though. Um, this, so this is our next goal, and I'll also add it's one of the most infuriating dungeons in this entire game. So, until next time, the boss, on the other hand, is actually not bad. But the dungeon is infuriating. I'm kind of the flip of that last one. I'm trying to think of other words that end with oast. Until next and time, I, everyone. I don't think there are. Oats? Shost! <laughs> until next time, everybody. Whoa!